Trump called Pfizer directly and said, hey, cut your prices. And guess what? You know, Pfizer just beat on earnings. So uh, I think uh, they missed uh, on revenue on the, they had to lower the top end true. of their guidance. They, had to, they missed on the current quarter. I mean, that, Th this are is, you long Pfizer or something? I mean, you, you're, 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 what are you? Uh, you're not. We are. We oh, are. Oh, you Pfizer. are. It okay. Is. Are you one of whistling our past the graveyard or just trying no, to? I think Pfizer's in good shape. Pfizer, Pfizer's a tan minivan these days, and I think in some ways that that's a good thing. Ooh, no. Um, so <laughs> it's not a good thing, Mike. That's what Becky. Uh, oh, come on. Right. It's a. It, it's good. So I mean, we're it's we're sort of getting closer to a recession. Yeah, you know, yeah. Pfizer. They've basically got one more but, pothole in terms of uh, drugs that are going generic. Um, once Pfizer gets through that pothole, um, I think as the recession starts to kick in. Pfizer's growth kicks in. That could be a very interesting story as you get out in one or two years. Um, so the, the industry is fragmented, though, huh? It's, it's still fragmented. Uh, I mean, you're, you're going to see deals. Uh, you know, certainly um, you mentioned Allergan beating and raising. You know, Pfizer was looking at companies like that. Uh, I think for the moment they've hit the pause button on deals, although we're going to get a new CEO coming in in a couple months. Maybe he'll have a different view in terms of acquisitions. But um, I would expect basically Pfizer to sort of keep doing what they're doing. I mean, it's been a pretty good year for them. Um, I don't think, you know, things aren't really broken, so I don't think there's a real need to fix it. A uh, new CEO may take a look at the consumer business. Maybe that's something they can spin off. But uh, I think it's in fairly good shape for the moment. Do you think Pfizer needs to do more deals? I mean, you were just mentioning they were looking at, had they tried to buy companies like Allergan? We had heard Bristol Myers for a while. It doesn't sound like they're going to do that. But uh, maybe look at some biotechs as you see their valuations coming down so much recently. Uh, that, that's a great point. Um, I think um, I would expect Pfizer to maybe do some tuck-in deals, maybe some smaller things. Um, if you take a look at some of the more recent uh, biotech sort of large acquisitions, they've been a little bumpy. You, you can actually look at Gilead. You can look at Celgene. They've done some deals. They've done okay in the near term, but they've not been incredible. So. If Pfizer takes a look at that near-term track record, they may say, hey, you know, let's, let's hold off a bit or just scoop up some you know, one, two, three billion dollar deals, tuck them in and kind of go from there. But uh, I think at this point, I wouldn't expect a major acquisition. How does this finally work itself out with, with um, what kind of regulatory problems we might have in terms of importing the price controls in Europe? That makes no sense, but I, I, do, do they understand that in this? It, administration I then think no that, one will have any innovation if, if, that, if that's, we do. I think that's a little tricky. I think you're getting into a little bit of a hornet's nest in terms of trying to you know make US prices equal uh, international prices it's just uh, there, are, there are a lot of complications a lot of cultural barriers a lot of regulatory issues there so that, that to me seems like something during the campaign season that, that may make some sense but I think afterwards that's probably going to die I mean we've seen tons of drug pricing you know regulatory um, ideas out there and a lot of times they just they die and I would expect basically the same thing here